Alrighty. So after a long, long, long time since the last time, I am back at it with Deadly Primo here. And apparently, we need to go sip some coffee. This is such a weird game. <laughs> okay. I can open it. Uh, where am I going? Oh, okay. And again, it's been a while since I've last played, so I don't know. Might take me a bit to get reacquainted with the controls here. Okay, that's safe. What is that? Bye. Okay. Alright, what, what is this? Wow. Okay. Oh, I love this song. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for oh you. Oh my god! Yo, what the fuck is wrong with your back? <laughs> she like le <you're> like <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. It just Mr. introduced Polly is fine. Come Milton. on, York. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Gotta roll my sleeves up for this one. Is that is one... all right, Mr. Morgan? Yes. It's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? <laughs> the salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh my, we're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension, but I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. Whoa. I still <laughs> love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly, I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this space. <sighs> now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to <laughs> This music a needs to tone here. the fuck I down. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zach, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? No. What is it, Mr. Morgan? Oh, nothing. I just said that these bacon and eggs are the very best I've ever tasted. Oh, really? You flatter me again. Well, Mr. Morgan, I'd better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular <laughs> about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. 
Yeah, man. If there's something York is particular about, it's this fucking coffee. What 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 if I don't? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you see that, Zach? Clear as a crisp spring morning. F K in the coffee. I knew I could count on it. Fuck. Never fails. <laughs> now then, let's get going. How are you still talking? What? You, what? <laughs> Busy sipping. Let's get going. <laughs> oh my god, there's health and sleep bars in this game. What is this game, dude? What is this? This is so fucking weird. That you forgot something. Like, what? Ugh. Why even give me the prompt to open it if it's like... Ah, uh, yeah. Like that! That one! That one's good. Why even give me the prompt to open it or whatever if it's just gonna be like, Oh, no. I really have no idea what this game is, and honestly, with the way that things are, like, working right now, I, I have no idea what this game is going to be. <laughs> there's so much shit. It's just like, oh yeah, there's these people, you check, the, check the weather? Uh, extra for checking the weather? <laughs> I know I get paid for checking the weather. Hello. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Stay stabilizer. Restores pulse. One hundred eighty-seven dollars. Cigarette heavy. Make you forget that time is going. So it's a time skip. All of these have odd, oddly specific prices as well. Like 1956 for crackers. What? <laughs> Use it with a fishing rod to go. There's fucking fishing in this game. <laughs> what? What is this game, <laughs> dude? <laughs> okay. I I think I'll just skip out on it for now. Uh, apparently, observing Mrs. Polly gave me money. I I don't I don't understand, dude. What is this game? What? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what in the hell? <laughs> Fucking music, dude. <laughs> hey. A police car. Yeah. <laughs> Very observant, York. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. Sure. Oh god, I wonder what driving is like in this game. Oh god. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. 
This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Oh, what is this? They, they, okay. Brakes, accelerate, side... I don't even know if this is correct because I'm using a fucking steam controller. Honk, steer, change view, talk? Okay, headlights, nothing for B. A change view again. Navigation. S -s what? What? Signal left, signal right. <laughs> Wipers on and off. Okay. I got flare? No, I... Oh. Am I getting out of the car? Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Anna... Oh! Okay. Uh, um... Change view... Okay, okay. Uh, oh, I, all right. Oh my God, dude! Holy! Oh, I, I almost flipped the car! <laughs> Holy cow! Um, where the fuck am I going, man? Okay. What the fuck is this, dude? Okay. Oh, oh my god, this thing. Oh my god, the turning on this is something. Oh my god. Am I going the wrong way? Surely not, right? I I can't tell because the map doesn't like open all the way. What is this map? How big is this place? Holy cow! There's a fuel gauge on this. Yeah, yeah. So, Zach, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. What? You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, <laughs> filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87-minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. Never. Never had it. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. Yeah, I bet we sure. can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. Oh, probably. Fuck, I bet we could just stream the whole thing. <laughs> the fuck? No, 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 no. Dude. building for such a small town. 
the exterior no, of this no, no, no. <laughs> you agree, Zach? <laughs> this game, oh my god, I swear, it only has like five tracks, and it, like, it, I don't know what they were going for with it. it. It feels like it's like so ambitious, like it's just trying to do everything. Oh god, this guy. What the fuck is wrong with him? Is he okay? <sighs> Like lurched up. Uh, uh, Why do you got so much dust coming? Out? What does that run? Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. You have something wrong with your neck, bud? Why are you looking at me like that? FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. But you can just call me York. Please just call me York. Yep. It's what everyone <laughs> so else everyone calls. Call Very them. well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. No, no, just doing my job. Wow, he just, was very shocked. Well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very, very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but... I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Listen, we're not talking about the duality of Tom and Jerry this time, okay? I don't want to hear it. Well, it's not that I don't want to hear it. I just... I don't know, okay? We're just not doing it. This person probably has nothing to do with the investigation, okay. Let me just slowly open this door here. Any... Any luck, Thomas? A southern flying squirrel key holder. Oh. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Is this a puzzle? Oh, no, they don't stay open. This is the only one with actual files in it. Hmm. Weird. Okay, so I have to go looking around for this fucking key. It has a southern flying squirrel key holder on it. Huh? Footsteps sound so weird, too. Oh, hey. Pointy-tailed flying squirrel key. Oh, my God. I bet you this isn't the right one. I bet you it's going to be like, No, that one, it's not the southern... <laughs> like, you know? I, I, I've already forgotten what he said the, the squirrel key was or whatever, so I'm just going to keep looking around here real quick. Time isn't passing as far as I can tell, so I'm here on time, question mark. So I'm just gonna look around. Oh, observe. Oh. <laughs>
Oh my god, there are different flying squirrel keys. I don't think that's triggering right, whatever it's trying to do. The kitchen room. How many keys? How many squirrels? Oh, open it? I guess. I've discovered turkey sandwich. I've discovered not not a turkey sandwich. I've discovered a card for a turkey sandwich. Shave. Not bad. Dumbbell. Zach, there's a name written on this dumbbell. Arnold. I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zach? I I suppose. I suppose if we meet an Arnold, I'll have to fucking say hey Arnold and give him his fucking dumbbell. Hey, there's Emily. Hello, Emily. Hi. I don't know, she looks all right in that dull uniform. Wow. Okay. Oh, hey, George. Hey, George. Hmm? Uh, George, do you work out every day? Of course, Agent Morgan. Exercise keeps me healthy. I haven't missed a day since I... Started in high school. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. But I can't do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. You mean your dumbbell? He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you so see Arnold around, let me know, will ya? Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. I think I have Arnold. George, I found Arnold. Really? <laughs> he was a bit hard-headed, but I got him to come back. Oh, <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Uh, what? Here's a little something to show you my appreciation. <laughs> so that makes us even. I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. 
No changes to how we work together. Just bear that in mind. Zack? He needs some friends who aren't so dumb. Okay. Alright. Well, that's that mission done, I guess. Ooh, dude, this actually has functioning... Functioning mirror... Triple A games don't even do this. The amount of attention to detail here. Zach, look at this. Oh, yeah. God, this is something special. I, sure. It's the epitome of the old Frontier Sheriff's Office. It's perfect. A stuffed deer's head on the wall. A flag, a hunting rifle. A hunting rifle. Amazing. You'd never see a hunting rifle on the wall of a police department in the city. That's just amazing. Wonder if the sheriff would ever let me shoot it. I don't know. Maybe. I doubt it. Alright, let's go back on the hunt for these missing keys. Conference room. Available, but it doesn't seem to have a door handle. That is interesting. I can definitely get some sleep here, Zach. Listen, York, I don't think they would really appreciate that too much. Just hopping into one of their empty cells here. Surely, surely Jackson or whatever his name is didn't drop one of his freaking keys in here, right? I mean, I, I don't know. Uh oh, there's something over there. I think this might be it. But he did leave one of the keys in here. What the heck? Who leaves it? Oh no. I'm 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 almost tempted not to question this game anymore.
uh, can I open? I okay. That, that was the only one that gave me the prompt to even try to open it when it had a person in there. So I tried to. But it said no. Okay. What else do we got? Um. Oh, we got a firing range. Interesting. A striped squirrel key. Uh, There's a lot of keys. Oh hell, hopefully I got all of them now. I feel like I've explored the entire place. I've got a lot of keys, Thomas. What key was it? I don't know. Is it this one? They master key their patrol cars? That's horrible. You found the key. That's the right one? Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. That okay, is... I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here, and we've cracked a big case already. That is insane that I... I fucking picked the right one the first the try. The name was Anna Graham. Yeah, an Age anagram. 18. She just recently graduated from high school this year. Mm -hmm. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. Wow. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. A she lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. Sure. City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. <laughs> I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually, I, well, I, I baked them myself. Mm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here? Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. Listen, George, I've got to eat this biscuit. Oh, oh, okay. Sure. Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too far to walk. 
Come on, get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. Very well. Then I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Fair enough. <laughs> Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. George, we'd better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. All right. Ugh.